So before I get into this review, I'm going to be going over how my rating system works. So 10 to 7 is a positive review for the movie, with 10 being an absolute beautiful day. 9? I mean, it's a 9. Watch the movie. 8 is great. 7 is good. 6 to 4? Now getting into the mix section, with 6 being a possible good. 5? A 50-50. 4? Not quite bad, but you get a pass. 3 and under, now being in the negative section with 3 being bad, 2 being really bad, 1 being the gates of hell, and 0 being nowhere you want to go. So let's get this started. So I'm going to be talking about the movie The New Mutants in this review. Um, this is the first movie I've seen in theaters in about 5 months, <clears throat> and um, to an extent it was you know, one of my anticipated films of 2020. So I guess I can start by saying my first thoughts upon the movie. I was actually pretty captured by the intro. I think it's a good setup for a horror movie. But as for the characters, it just kind of felt like they were just kind of dropped onto the script. Like the dialogue and storytelling, at least for the first like couple characters, it's just way too detailed. It has so much background to it that it's not that it wasn't well written, it was just so much so fast. Anya Taylor-Joy is one of the funnest aspects of this film. I think that she's a great actress and I think that she was very dedicated. But just her overall presence just seemed to fit much more cohesively. Where everyone else is clearly trying, it just doesn't seem like they all were right for this movie. The cinematography in this film also stood out to me. It wasn't exaggerated, it was just specific, especially when capturing its angles and effects with shots like involving point of view. So that part I found I found very nice as well. Another thing I need to state, which is probably the most important is that the movie feels like it's trying to be a horror film rather than actually being one. Like a lot of the scares in this movie aren't actually all that scary. At least not for a horror film. But for a superhero movie I can argue that they are a little bit more than what typical viewers would expect from a superhero film. I think where the film went wrong mostly was its lack of character development. You want to care about these characters and you may feel how you're supposed to feel about them but you just don't have enough reason to explain why. You can tell when there's an impactful or an emotional driven scene like at play, it just doesn't hit. The filmmakers should have put a lot more effort and thought into the character development rather than the CGI and scares. This film feels like it wants to be something more than knowing what it wants to be. I'd argue that the movie could have even been longer, you know, just as long as it was more planned out. That's the problem. Overall though, the movie was better than I, than I thought it was going to be. And honestly, I'd go as far as to say that I wouldn't mind seeing a sequel as long as they just take these notes with it. <laughs> Overall, I'm feeling a 6.5 out of 10. Not bad. But that was my review on The New Mutants. Um, I'm going to be dropping a review on Unhinged next week and also Bill and Ted 3, I think, tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. So I don't know if you guys watched my pre-thoughts video where I actually went into depth in a movie theater just showing you guys what it's like currently. But if you did, I really appreciate it. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. So take care guys. Have a good night and be safe.